Now let's look at uh, uh, it from a from a, a vision perspective. What should you know to make this business process work? What are the constitu constituents of a business process? The constituents are very simple. There has to be a vision. Why do you have the process in place? Uh, therefore, what are the focus areas? Do the executives in your company sponsor it? Is there an accountability? Do people own the process? And so on and so forth. Then the second constituent is the people. Who will perform what function in a, in a process? There, there, are, there are cultural issues, there are skills, there is competencies, there is training that needs to happen, and, and, and a number of people that will do the processes. Those are the things that you need to work with. The third uh, constituent that you need to have in a business process is the decision making uh, ability. Who will make decisions? How will you execute the decision? Is there any way to uh, optimize the process? How do you monitor it? How do you you know, uh, refresh it from time to time and so on and so forth. Now comes the most important part, which is data. All of this can function if only there's data that happens, that flows between uh, all these constituents. So therefore, how do you manage data? How do you integrate data? How do you access the information? What methodologies will you use to access the information? What infrastructure will you need to have? And so on and so forth. And to make this work efficiently, effectively, continuously, there's a process of improvement that you, you constantly review, constantly make changes, constantly make corrections. Therefore, the process becomes very, very efficient. Innovation can come in, better governance models can, can come in, uh, methodologies can be improved, and you make investments in the future to make it, let's say, automated and so on and so forth.